Hi everyone, Holly here with Becker School Supplies. Now the Science Center is my favorite part of the early childhood classroom, but I know that sometimes it can be challenging to keep that space engaging all year long. So Becker's has put together a fantastic Science Center kit filled with tools and objects and other great things to really reinvigorate your Science Center. Now I wanna share with you some of the ways that I like to use those tools and objects to really extend the learning beyond the Science Center. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today we're talking about water in the Science Center. Now you've probably done sink or float with your students before, but it can be challenging to sort of get beyond that, to really challenge young learners to think about the properties of water. So I have an activity I wanna share with you today using this little guy, our plastic boat. Now the challenge is for all of your students to get the boat to go as high as it can in the water table or bowl you might have it in. And you can give them lots of different tools and let them explore ways to raise the boat. Let's take a look. So I've given my little scientist here lots of tools to help her to raise the boat, including a second bowl with water in it. And right away, she comes to the conclusion that she's got to move water from one bowl to the other. So she starts moving water by using her pipette. She's moving very, very small quantities of water. So while it is working, the boat is rising up, she can't really tell that it's working because the amount of water is so small. So I give her another tool, this cup. Up. And right away, she starts scooping the water and pouring it in. And now she can see the boat rise with each scoop of water. So now she sees that I knew I knew adding water was the right answer, and she's got a better tool to do it. What's really interesting here is she decides to sort of test the limits of the tools. So she grabs her pipette again, and she uses the pipette to fill the cup. So now she wants to see if it's how she was using the tool or if it was the tool itself that allowed her to move the boat higher up at the bowl. So she, you can see she's starting to move water with her pipe into the cup. But very quickly she realizes that that's not getting her the amount of water she needs to make a difference in her experiment. So she abandons the pipe and goes back to scooping. It's amazing how she was able to think about tool usage to make her boat go up in the bowl. Finally, she decides the very best tool is the bowl itself and she starts pouring water from one bowl to the other to make her boat rise. That's probably the first way that your students will try to raise the boat in this challenge by moving water from one bowl to the other because they're going to raise the water level and as they raise the water level the boat goes up with it. Fantastic. It also gives you the chance to talk about the best tool for the job just like we saw in that video. But there's another way to raise the boat that may not be your learner's sort of first try. And that involves adding things to the water to displace the water. So we're not adding any more water, but we're adding other objects to the water to raise the level. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So at this point, I asked my little scientist to watch the boat as I add one of her tools to the bowl. So I've added the rock and the boat went up a little bit on the surface of the water because of displacement. So she starts adding the rest of her rocks to the bowl, one by one, like a very good scientist. And the boat rises a little bit with each rock. So I give her another tool to use and it's these wooden rounds. So she places one in the water, just like she did with the rocks, and she discovers for something very quickly. They don't sink, they float, they pop back up to the surface. So what's great here is she decides on a different way to use her tool. So she floats around on the top of the bowl and places the boat on top. This is fantastic. She's not showing me necessarily displacement, but she is showing me that she understands floating and sinking. And she's using that knowledge to help her to meet the challenge, which is to get the boat higher in the bowl. So she's made this floating stack of wooden rounds and has raised the boat really high in her bowl. And finally, she of course adds a little bit more water. She's now used displacement, moving water and floating and sinking to get her boat really high up in the bowl. Excellent job, little one. Honestly, this was surprising to me. I set out to do a displacement activity and really my little learner there showed me that she knows all about sinking and floating and she can use sinking or floating to solve my challenge, which was fantastic. So I hope everything I showed you today helps to make water in your science center even more engaging. Now, if you want the boats or any of the other really cool things you saw in today's activity, make sure you check out shopbecker.com and check 
check out our Science Center kit that has all of the great objects and tools you need to have really engaging science lessons in your Science Center. Thank you so much and join me again soon for more Science Center tips with Becker's School Supply.